Chemical kinetics, half-lives. For the following first order reaction, the half-life is 248 seconds at 50 degrees Celsius and the activation energy is 45 kilojoules per mole. Calculate the time necessary for the concentration of A to fall from 0.666 to 0.444 moles per liter at 25 degrees Celsius. Regardless if the reaction is of first or second order, the Van t Hoff equation can always be used. However, we must use a valid formula for the first order reactions, which is what we have in this case, when looking at the relationship between the half-life and the rate constant. This solution will use Arrhenius' equation to find the rate constant as well as the half-life at 25 degrees Celsius. The question gives us the time of the half-life, so we can insert this value into the formula to determine the rate constant at 50 degrees Celsius. If you are ever a bit lost on how to start a question that initially gives you the rate constant, it's a good idea to find the half-life from this equation and then see what you can do next. We need to rearrange the equation to find the rate constant. We insert the value of the half-life in seconds. Here is the rate constant at 50 degrees Celsius. The half-life was given in seconds, so the rate constant has seconds to the negative exponent as its units. We will keep our answer with as many digits as possible to avoid rounding errors. If the question had asked us to find the time at 50 degrees Celsius, we could have inserted our rate constant directly into this equation. However, since we need to find our answer at 25 degrees Celsius, we need to first find our rate constant at this temperature. The activation energy was given in the question, so we have all the information necessary to use Arrhenius' equation to calculate K at 25 degrees Celsius. We can rearrange the formula to isolate for our unknown variable, but sometimes it's actually easier to do the calculations on the right side before rearranging. Pay attention to the units on each number. The activation energy is given in kilojoules, but the equation will only work if it's converted to joules, because our R is in joules. The values of the temperature must also be converted into kelvins. To get rid of the ln on the left, we put both sides as base E. Let's switch the right side and the rate constant. Here is the rate constant at 25 degrees Celsius. Again, we keep multiple significant digits for now. Finally, we can calculate the time it takes for the concentration to fall from 0.666 to 0.444 moles per liter at 25 degrees Celsius. We will use the following equation, which was mentioned earlier. Let's isolate the variable t. Note that A0 doesn't necessarily mean the start of the reaction. It only represents that concentration A happens after A0, after an amount of time t. A goes from 0.666 to 0.444 moles per liter in 588 seconds. We round our final answer to three significant digits because that was the smallest number of significant digits given in the question.